Hey everyone, welcome to another video. And today you can see I am doing a razor review. Um, but before we get on to that, I am using um, some Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements CAD, just for your reference. And to keep on the theme of the rays that I'm using, I'm actually using um, this brush, which is a uh, like a hard resin. Uh, this is Frankenstein's monster. You can probably probably see one of my favourite little brushes. It's only about a 21 mil or so, and it's not going to be like a shaving video. It's just going to be me shaving while talking about the rays that on review. So. Hope you're all doing alright and something a little different on this channel. So today is the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements La Creatura. This thing here. Uh, and I'll put an over clip while I'm talking. Uh, this one, um, there is a, a range of these in different colours, etc. This particular one is green with sort of like speckles in it. Um, I think it's trying to put on the f uh, an effect uh, of like a radioactive uh, sort of look to the razor three piece and it's got a nice thing about these ones um, some of them when they do ones like this they put like a plastic uh, screw in there uh, this one it looks like brass so it should not uh, affect its uh, longevity because uh, sometimes you can split the others this one with a brass insert for the screw the screw head um, should be okay. Um, it's a very hard plastic. I'm not sure what type of plastic it is, but it's a hard plastic all the same. Uh, and today, um, Kevin just carrying on with the green theme, really. Uh, a brand new Gillette 7 o'clock Super Stylus is in here. So let's get on shaving with it. So, as you can see, it's got a rather large and bent and slanted um, head on it. It is a, a slant razor. Right, as you can see it's got like a very very big head. Um, so with this one like most razors really a light touch is needed. I wouldn't say that this is an aggressive razor but if you get the angle a little wrong and you press down even just a little bit it can become a relatively aggressive razor and can cause a bit of razor burn so just a bit of care and attention and you should be fine with this razor um, we're only doing one pass today just as a a reference for the razor, really, like a review for it. So, you put a nice sharp blade in it and it works well. I mean, it is a between mild and medium razor, if you do what I've just said, uh, but put a nice, decently sharp Gillette razor in it. With razor blade. And it will do the job. Oh, I'm a favourite. I'm a, I'm a favourite. I'm a fan of this sort of thing. It's a bit, a bit gimmicky, but it, it actually it, the razor itself is made really well uh, and does the job really well. Now, a lot of them don't do that uh, when they're sort of like a, a gimmick, but this is actually designed well and uh, actually works. Put in a nice smooth soap and the thing works really well. The one issue due to the big lump on the top, sometimes getting under the nose, that little bits that go right up to the nose, because mine does, it goes right up to the, the edge of the nose, can be a little difficult at times. I wouldn't 
recommend. Now I'm a little older, I'm 42, so my beard is a little bit firmer, if you will. Um, a little bit harder bristles. Um, trying a, 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 it's a derby blade or something like that, and it just really just rips my skin apart. It doesn't work at all. Uh, it needs a good, strong, sharp blade. As you can see, it shaves pretty decently. And they've been both a slant and quite curved. It can be a little bit of a learning curve with this one to keep the angle that you want when cutting. There's slightly less of an angle, you get more of a, um, like a molder shave, and a little bit more, just a tiny bit more, you get a bit more of a little bit more aggressive, it's not really aggressive. Yeah, very nice. So this is a little bit that I have trouble with just because I've got a big nose and that is a, a big piece there. And getting it under the nail is not so easy sometimes I have to sort of come across and up a little bit to get those two bits at the top with this razor. But it has caught them just fine. So just a little little thing to note. Now I don't know if you can still get this razor because um, things like this tend to be like a limited run. I think they still are. I don't know if you go to the website, but they, they now and again, maybe two, uh, three or four times a year, they'll come out with a different colour or something like that. I've got four of them uh, currently. Well, yeah, a bit of care, tension. And you get a really good shave with these. So I'm going to quickly rinse off. And see where we are with it. Let's see if there's any bits I've missed. That could do with it just to touch up really. Now it's a one pass, so it's good it's gonna be, but for what I want today. And I could do with going up against the cheeks really. I mean that's a personal thing. I have to go generally up against the cheeks a little bit. So That's got it. So, what do I think of these razors, uh, particularly this one? Um, these razors are really good. Uh, they're very really good in quality, good for the money. If you like a um, bit of a laugh, bit of a gimmick, but still works like any other razor was good as a gift then I could highly recommend these and of course if you're like a collector of things um, these are great because they come in all different colours and there's for like uh, got the dark ones there's I've got a red one I've got a blue one I've got this one with the speckles in I've got a transparent one and uh, I might do a review of all of them uh, but these are really good and say decent price yeah what you're getting, you're getting actually good quality sort of plastic razor, nothing really cheap and nasty, um, very, very good. So, um, 
that's about it really for the review um, I do like these I do recommend them but there's a little bit of a learning curve and you may struggle under the nose if you've got a bit snuzzer um, due to the just size of the, the cap um, but again get to a slight angle uh, up against uh, and be careful and uh, I have no issues having a nice close shave so that's it that's my quick review uh, of the Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements La Creatura uh, I think it's based on the um, yeah, monster from the swamp sort of um, movie uh, genre um, and uh, I love things like that um, I like anything like that at all so thumbs up from me from this razor let me know if you uh, like the razors do you, do you fancy getting one um, have you got one do you like it do you not like it yeah, how is it shaved for you um, thumbs up this video if you like the video and uh, subscribe if you haven't already that would really help me out and thank you for watching and uh, I'll get on with putting my um, aftershave products on and I'll see you again soon on the next video